Hi, welcome to this example in my series on solving trig equations. So, what have we got to do here? We've got to solve 3 cos theta minus 4 sine theta equals 2 for theta between 0 and 360 degrees inclusive. Now, when you have something like this, this has got a particular format. We often refer to this format as being of the form a cos theta minus b sine theta equals a constant, let's say c. In this example, a is 3 and b, you've got to be careful, is 4, not minus 4. The minus is taken care of here, so b is 4. And the constant c would be 2. Now, when you've got equations like this, we need to get the trig equation in terms of one trig function. And to do that, what we do is we look at the left-hand side here. We should learn this identity, that a cos theta minus b sine theta is identical to what we call r cos theta plus another constant, alpha. And r can be worked out as being the square root of a squared plus b squared and alpha is always the inverse tan of b over a. So I would strongly encourage you to learn this identity here and how we calculate r and alpha from it. Now in this example then we've got a is 3 and b is 4. So let's just mark that in here that a equals 3 and b equals 4. And we'll just draw a line down there just to separate this from what we're going to do here. So if you're given this equation then you should be thinking this idea over here. So what you would write ought to be something along these kind of lines. We've got that the left hand side 3 cos theta minus 4 sine theta is identical to r cos theta plus alpha. So we need to calculate r so we would know that r is the square root of a squared plus b squared and we've seen that a is 3 and b is 4 so that would be the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared. Square root of 9 plus 16 square root of 25 then which is 5. So we've got r is 5. We also need alpha and alpha is the inverse tan of b over a so we'll mark that in then as b divided by a so that's 4 divided by 3. So using your calculator work out the inverse tan of 4 thirds. Remember to check that it's in degrees mode for this question and so alpha you should find turns out to be 53.130 and so on degrees. So what does that mean? Well it means that the left hand side of the equation can now be written in this format. So r cos theta plus alpha. We've got r is 5 so we can say that 5 cosine of theta plus alpha now alpha is here so we write that in as 53.13 naught and so on degrees and that now equals our constant on the end here 2. So we've been able to take the equation which had two trig functions in it down to one trig function. In this example it's cosine. So what do I need to do now? Well, I need to get to this angle in here and that would mean dividing both sides by 5 to give me that the cosine of this angle equals 2 fifths and then take the inverse cos to both sides. So I'm going to then have that this angle theta plus 53.13 naught and so on degrees is equal to the inverse cos of 2 fifths. So if I use a calculator at this point and work out what the inverse cos of 2 fifths is, 
what I should find that I get is 66.421 and so on degrees. Now I need to get other solutions in the range 0 to 360 degrees so what I'm going to do is consider a quadrant diagram. So mark in quadrant diagram with 0 degrees there. Turn in an anti-clockwise direction because we want angles in the range 0 to 360. Now we had the cosine of the angle equal 2 fifths and 2 fifths is a positive value so where is cosine positive? We should know that it's positive in the first quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. So mark in two lines equally inclined to the horizontal line marking these angles as being the same. Now we mark in in the usual way the angles that we want for this question so we start from here we turn anti-clockwise to the first blue line and this is a possible solution it is theta plus 53.130 degrees so let's mark that in as theta plus 53.130 odd degrees we need to start again from here so we turn all the way around anti-clockwise until we get to the next blue line and that too is another theta plus 53.130 naught degrees so we've seen that when we inverse cos two-fifths that one of the solutions was 66.421 and that's obviously this red one here so this blue angle corresponds to that red one that blue angle in there is 66.421 odd degrees that means that this one in here is also 66.421 so to get the green angle all I've got to do is 360 degrees minus 66.421 do that on your calculator what do you get? Well you find that you get 293.578 and so on degrees. All, right. All I need to do now is just subtract 53.13 naught degrees from each of these angles and that will give me theta. So therefore theta would equal and if we do that subtraction you get 13.291 and so on degrees and take away from this angle you get 240.448 and so on degrees and now all I need to do is round these to an appropriate degree of accuracy always check with your question what accuracy that they wanted uh, I haven't mentioned anything up here but let's say we do it to say three significant figures then if that were the case then this would be 13.3 degrees and this one would be 240 degrees and we would put in that accuracy here and I'm going to say to three sig figs okay we'll just say sig figs for short okay well that brings us now to the end of this example and I hope you've been able to follow my method then of solving this equation.